करो कंसिडर मोस्ट हैपनिंग शास्त्र के अंदर वाइब है टोटल रॉकिंग मेरा हर लड़की पूछे मेरा नंबर गलियों में चले ना मेरा ब्रेकिंग हार्ट्स बिल्लो का मेरा बट एंट्री से तेरी हो गया है सिस्टम सारा जैम मेरा तुझे देखा जब से छट गया है सम सॉरी क्रेजी पर अब डेली डेली होता है मुझे Good morning. So I've been promising a video, a head-to-head -head video of my two steel bikes. You know I'm a total steel convert. I do have a carbon bike that basically stays on the trainer. Um, so I ride principally two steel bikes. I have a Velo Orange Rando and I have a custom-built Mariposa. They're different bikes. Yes, they're steel, but they're very different bikes. And I've been promising to do an expose on both of them. Um, sadly, I don't have the Mariposa. Yeah. I don't have it right now. I have it. I just don't have it. So it's not going to be the video this week. She's at what we're now thinking of as her vacation home at uh, the bike shop. She's getting work done. And, and it's a uh, cause of great concern. And that's something we should talk about today. SRAM have just released a new version of their Red Grupo. SRAM, congratulations on that. But maybe you should have fixed the first version of the Red Grupo before releasing a new version. Or at the very least, Maddie's set of the first version. <laughs> I apologize if you own SRAM Red and you love it and you are convert. But SRAM, you're making me regret not running Shimano Jures. I will explain to you, but first of all, I want to point out this. Someone got a new bucket. If you are a diligent viewer of this channel, you would know that Linda got a new bucket last year. It was a POC Ventral Air, I believe. She loved it for about a week. <laughs> First one was too small for my giant noggin, and the second one was too big on made my noggin seem small <laughs> I looked like I felt like I looked like a child wearing an adult's uh, helmet it felt so big on my head so here's a question what is that now super cool <laughs> matte finish it's the Scott super cool matte finish helmet <laughs> so Linda normally runs a centric plus the, the black helmet you've seen her in in the videos um, so we just got her the um, 2024 version of the Centric Plus, which comes with a nice matte finish. Very nicely modeled here by my beautiful wife. And um, yeah, size small. Love it? Love it. It's light. It's cool. Love it. All right. SRAM Red, I'm coming for you. Let's talk about that. Yeah, not only did she get a brand new helmet, she picked up some kit as well. And um, I don't know if you saw a vlog I did in the winter time, but I talked about cycling items that we needed to purchase in order to have a successful cycling season and linda desperately needed new tires so we're just replacing the ones that she had on there already these are continental grand sports 700 by 32. awesome plushness pretty good rolling resistance and uh yeah she loves them so we're uh, gonna get one on see how it looks and then uh get this bad boy on that is not the point of this week's vlog though. It's not an instructional video on how to install brand new tires on wheels. What this week's vlog is, it's a bitch session. Yeah, that's a little extreme, but I have kind of come to the end of my rope with my SRAM red shifters. Again, if you've seen previous videos, I've ranted before about these shifters. The major problem is, you can go back and see what my rant is, but the major problem is there's two coin cell batteries, one in each shifter. 
left side shifter allows the chain to move up the stack, right side down the stack. And then if you push them both together, it allows you to move from your big ring to your small ring or vice versa, small ring to your big ring. So yeah, the whole IP behind SRAM ETAP, SRAM Access, is their wireless transmission, totally wireless, which when it works, like most technologies, is incredible. So why did I choose SRAM Red on my custom Mariposa? Three main reasons why. Number one, I didn't want a ton of cabling to be exposed on my design. I wanted it to be very clean and SRAM Red, obviously as a wireless technology, um, has very little cabling. It's clean design, beautiful design, looks great exactly as I intended it. The second reason why I chose SRAM Red was the cost over Shimano Durace, which I've had previously and had no problems with it. But Shimano Durace is a premium. And in Canada at the time when I got this bike fitted, uh, it's about a $1,500 adder on top of SRAM's top of the line Grupo SRAM Red. And the third reason was reputation. SRAM as a company is supposed to have a very good reputation. And the research that I did into that group set before purchasing it, uh, everything pointed uh, to uh, green, good to go. I think that's one of the reasons why I'm so bitterly disappointed. The process of getting a custom bike was very exciting. I loved every step along the way of getting fitted. The dialogue between um, the, the Mariposa and myself was excellent. And I don't put any blame on Mariposa for this issue. This is purely a SRAM issue. So SRAM say that the shifters, the battery life in there, the 2032 coin cell battery, is supposed to last anywhere between two and three years. Right now, currently, I'm getting two rides, two rides only, and not epic rides, out of one shifter. And the other super annoying thing about this, if you know SRAM has an app, I think most of the high-end electronic group sets have apps now. So SRAM has an app and you can check your battery life on the app. So <laughs> I was out riding the other day and the battery was clearly dead on the right-hand shifter. No juice whatsoever. So I checked the app just to see, and I had checked the app before I left the house and it was all green to go. Excellent, battery life 100% right across the board on four batteries, the rear derailleur, the front derailleur, and the two coin cell shifters. Within 15 minutes, I had no shifting whatsoever in the right-hand shifter. So not only can I not shift down the stack, I can't move the front derailleur because you need both shifters to, to work. So I stop, I check the app again, and it's saying green, everything's good, but clearly I can't shift. I take the battery out of the shifter and I check the app again and even then it says it's all green good to go but the battery isn't even installed what's going on so there was a lot of profanity a lot of text to Linda saying raging I had an additional coin cell battery in my uh, saddlebag so I pulled that out I changed the battery I got attacked by mosquitoes while I did that it was a most unpleasant experience I completed my ride and then I raced to the local bike shop, which for me is Fat Moose Cycles. And I, I just dropped the bike off and I'm like, guys, something needs to happen here. There needs to be a 100% warranty recall on these shifters because clearly there's something wrong. I have no confidence whatsoever anymore in this group set. Will I get rid of it? No, I don't think so because when it's working, it's great. I just need working components. I just need shifters that are supposed to live up to the expectation you know, that they last longer than two rides. Now, you know, I'm not unrealistic. I don't think coin cell batteries will last two to three years, but give me at least 12 months, at least. So I don't have the Mariposa right now. It is over at Fat Moose. I'm assuming they're gonna take the shifters off. And here's the other downside. I'm not gonna have the bike for two to three weeks. The shifters need to go to Vancouver. I think that's the Canadian headquarters for R&D or tech support. That's that. That's my rant. Let me know if you've had any negative experiences with SRAM ETAP or SRAM Access, any of the wireless shifting group sets from SRAM. SRAM, do right by me. Change these shifters. Okay, that's a wrap, guys. Obviously, I'm gonna to have to delay the comparison between my two steel bikes until I get my other steel bike back. 
I will exclusively be riding my Velo Orange for the next little while. And um, I'll let you know how that goes. Have a great week. We will regroup next week. Take care.